<laughs> Some of you that haven't heard me speak, I hope you will come back and hear me because I, I tend to do this. Sometimes I get this event done and then I say, I don't think anybody there even knew who I was. <laughs> She's a person running around like a crazy person, right? But, but this is to showcase, like I said, I'm the luckiest person in the universe because I get to hang out with all these cool people and I get to meet so many new cool people every year. And I'm a perpetual student, as I said. I'm always learning and growing and taking more classes and getting more certificates. And it's just, it's not about that. It's about life. It's about living life to the fullest. It's about those unlimited possibilities, like the name of my company. And when I named my company that 22 years ago, I had, I didn't have a clue just how unlimited all of this mm -hmm. is. My, my mind just has gone in so many directions. And those of you who weren't here earlier, Oh, it isn't up here. Uh, I was dedicating today to my very first hypnosis teacher, Dr. Krasner, who wrote the book, The Wizard Within. I had it up here earlier, but I put it someplace. I'll find everything tomorrow. Um, and he wrote a book called The Wizard Within. The Wizard Within is a metaphor, right? Our mind, our unconscious mind, works in representations. And um, in hypnosis and NLP, we talk about uh, negative IRs. <laughs> uh, you're good at giving those to me, by the way. <laughs> and, and negative IR is negative internal representations. It's like, you know, once somebody says something that creates an image in your mind that is negative or ugly or scary, it's, you know, it's like, oh, great. <laughs> now what do I do? You know, now it's there. If you never heard it, you know, if it was never something that put it there, then no problem, right? But as soon as it's in there, now what do you do with it? And what happens with some people in the world, and I'm sure happened to me at various times in my life, was you'd get these, these, these internal representations at the unconscious imagination level. And they're so powerful and sometimes charged with so much emotion. And if it's negative emotion, it has a great impact on the physical body. So the imagination, what Dr. Krasner told me and told all of, all of his students was, the imagination is your most powerful resource. Think about people who imagine something terrible is always going to happen. What happens to them? They end up with anxiety, panic attacks. They get, they get stressed. They get ulcers. They get, you know, it, life is not very pleasant when you're focused on that. And uh, Robert Otto, who is now the head of the organization that I'm a master trainer with, the International Association of Counselors and Therapists, and also the International Medical and Dental Hypnotherapy Association, Oh, such long name. <laughs> <laughs> I am BHA. If I say I am BHA and I am, right. now you know why we right. did both right. acronyms. Right. 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 <laughs> Got to learn all new acronyms mm -hmm. in each field of study. But, but he, he always says, you know, he, he said something that I thought he invented, and I thought it was the coolest phrase in the world because it kind of went into my brain like, in, like a branding iron. I said, well, the first time I heard him speak, he was running up and down the aisles, and he said, we move in the direction of our most dominant thought. And it went, whoa. <laughs> you know, it was like, how profound. And then I found out years later that, it, you know, I kept saying he and, you know, that was him. And then I find out there's some philosopher from centuries ago that said that. There's nothing new, really, is there? You know, there really isn't anything. We're, we keep reinventing things and ideas and rediscovering. And, and yet each generation seems to be on this kind of the same search, at least those of us who care enough and who have that drive or that urge to want to make more of our life or our health or have a, have a sense somewhere. I know I started on my quest in, that ended up in this field that I didn't realize in the beginning because as a small child, there was something that was born in me. It was not put there by anybody out here, you know, in, in, the, in the human world. And there was something that I came into this world with that was, that was an intelligence that guided me at different times. And, and thank goodness, it's, it, Early in life, I learned to listen to that intelligence. And without having any research or any data or any empirical you know, studies and, and without any proof that it made any, and sometimes with everyone around me saying, you're crazy, and I would be the only one saying, but, but I know this is right. It's a knowing, it's not a, you know, it's not a guessing or a wishful thinking. And every time when I was, very small that I would follow that, it would turn out, even if everybody else was saying, eh, it was like, oh, wow, that's right. That was right for me. And I did that through my whole life, and it led me to this field, and it led me to Dr. Krasner, and to some amazing people that I had the privilege to study with. Dr. Preston in Arizona, who I studied the medical and the anesthesia hypnotherapy, he died a couple years ago. And these people, I, I feel that they live on through 
passing, uh, passing to everybody and their students and carrying on their legacies to be able to, to the, the things that impacted me and the things